So here I am at Queen of Peace and uh, yeah this morning we had a, a little accident here. Um, this person uh, accidentally backed, no accidentally went forward into uh, the car, my car and uh, this trash can and this uh, the structure that kind of puts a roof over our vehicles, Father Ruben's car and mine and um, yeah uh, at first, I, I actually was woken up by uh, Father Ruben, and he told me something happened. I heard something outside, and then uh, I told him, oh, okay, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> and then uh, he came back, knocked on my door or again, and he told me um, that it was my car that was hit, and that it sounded really bad, and, uh, and that I needed to come out and, uh, and uh, look at it so we can uh, uh, make a claim, right? And my initial temptation was to, uh, I think it, it was for a half a second to start thinking, oh man, why do I have to do this? And uh, on my, especially on my, on my day off, right? And then uh, before I was, as I was putting on my, my clothes and uh, coming outside, I was thinking, you know what? I need to forgive this person uh, in the name of Jesus for, for, for anything that they have done because uh, the temptation to anger can always be there, right? And so I prayed that prayer, I forgave this person. Later on she uh, she did ask me for forgiveness and I told her, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I forgive you and uh, I had already forgiven you before coming down the stairs. And, uh, and she was very nice, uh, very nice. It was such an unfortunate event, this accident. At, um, but yeah, that's kind of the, the, the lesson uh, is forgiveness is so important to be at peace with uh, with God and, and with one another as brothers and sisters in Christ and here at the parish. Uh, I guess uh, anything could happen, right? <laughs> and um, the other thing that I thought was uh, that was really uh, good for me to meditate on it was that it's actually a blessing that my car was here and got hit because if the car was not here, a couple of things could have happened. Uh, they could have hit the church and gone into the church or destroyed the wall of the church. They could have hit Father Ruben's car, which would uh, maybe get in the way of his ministry. And uh, But if there was no car here and Father Ruben's perhaps wasn't there, then uh, the other reality is that this thing right here, this me metallic structure, uh, would have um, bent down even more. And uh, it would have probably gone into the windshield of this car. And uh, and in the windshield, um, anything could happen, right? It could have been a, it could have been like very bad accident, where the person who was driving would have been injured, um, and uh, maybe even worse, right? You never know. Um, but <clears throat> praise be to God that she didn't actually have any injuries um, whatsoever, so that's good. Uh, so she's safe. I'm safe. I, I wasn't even in the car, right? I was inside. So that's good. I'm, I'm very happy and I give thanks to God for watching over us and protecting us. And even in his permissive will, good things happen. And there's always, um, in the divine wisdom, there's always something to be said and something to be learned uh, and experienced in, the, in this area of the uh, mystery of divines, uh, divine, the, 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 the protection of God and also what he allows to happen. And it was really funny because uh, the lady told me that she always, every every day, she kind of tells the Lord Jesus to take over the wheel, right, and to and to help her drive. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, she was like, "Well, maybe the Lord didn't didn't help me today." But uh, but at the same time, uh, it, she even it even shifted my car when they hit it. At the same time, uh, you know, yeah, obviously the Lord Jesus doesn't doesn't drive the vehicle literally, but. Uh, but he does protect us from uh, worse things um, ha from happening. And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for nobody being injured. And uh, and I know God will provide. We're, we're working on the uh, details with insurance and stuff like that. And God will provide uh, for, for me as he has done before. Uh, rem reminding everyone that that car was actually a, a gift to me by a donor who wanted to support my ministry and my walk as a seminarian. And so technically... Even if I wanted to complain, the car is not even mine. Nothing I own, not even my own life, it's my own. Again, thank you everyone for your prayers. Always praying for us seminarians and priests. God bless you.